So I just wanted to hop on here and talk about how my NFT collection is about to go live. And I have not said anything about this collection as of yet because I'm basically doing a collaboration with a brand, an online marketplace, and I'm writing articles for them. And I'm also going to be selling my collection on their platform, which is really exciting. And, and I'm really, really excited about this collaboration because their branding just really aligns with my work. And also the fact that a lot of the marketplaces I see for NFTs right now, the art looks very cookie cutter. It looks kind of like just gifts that people threw together in Illustrator and didn't really think through and don't have like a lot of story and background to them. And no offense to anyone who might really, really like that style. I think it's really fun and really pop art. But uh, my NFTs are going to be a little more story based. So the one that I'm working on right now is kind of a preview for what is to come with this entire collection. And I'm really excited to draw from a lot of my background studying um, English and some of the research that I did while I was in grad school. So part of the collection is going to be really just immersed in a lot of my influences from when I went to school and the things that I care about. So this collaboration is really, really exciting. And I think it's gonna be a good marketplace for my artwork because a lot of the art that I see on there kind of looks a lot more like traditional art, um, just more raw and more illustrated, whereas a lot of what you see on Rarible and, and OpenSea looks like just animated line art, um, you know, and, and that's not all that they have on that platform, but it just didn't feel like my art fit on their platforms. So I'm really excited that this opportunity arose. I'm also writing articles for their platform, for their blog. So on March 30th, I'll be sharing a link to the articles that I wrote for them there specifically right now it's just one but it's going to be a series of art um, a series of articles that are being released and published on their site so i'm excited to announce that collaboration specifically there have been a few others too that's not the only one so this month has really been an exciting month for me because my art was also licensed to a clothing company called shen and I'm, I'm excited to find out what they're going to pick from the 20 different artworks that I sent over. They're going to get back with me in about a couple days and let me know what they'll be licensing and putting on their marketplace. So that is really awesome. I also have some stationery that was licensed to Parcel of Love. So a lot of exciting things going on in the month of March that I haven't really... Uh, announced or said anything about but I wanted to hop on here and just do some sketch sketch work on this piece because I've been working on this for over a month now trying to finish it for this collection but this is definitely going to be the first piece in the collection that is released so I will let you know when this goes live in case you are interested in being uh you know one of the purchasers for this collection because there's only going to be one of each item. So unlike a lot of the NFT collections that you see where they're generated in mass, I am going to have a lot of pieces in this collection, but they're not going to be generated by a computer algorithm. They're all going to be unique artworks that take a long time to create like this one. And they're all going to have a story. So I'm really excited to share kind of the basis of what these artworks are going to be like in an upcoming video. So stay tuned and 
yeah, that's the update for today. I'll be hopping on with another one soon. All right.